Hi everybody, I hope you're all really, really well. I am jumping on live, in fact I'm just going to turn off the notifications on my phone because this always happens whenever I go live, let me do that. There we go, that was much better. So hope you're all well, hope you can all hear me really, really well. I said I was going to jump on and... Um, uh, have a little bit of a chat with you about something that I am currently going through at the moment and I thought god do you know what this is a perfect opportunity to come on and chat with you all about this because I know some of you are jumping in with these workouts for the first time and maybe you have never done a home workout program before or maybe this is the first time in a long time that you've done a home workout program or maybe you're just about to jump in with us doing the morning meltdown 100 over in our um, 100 project boot camp so this is was such perfect timing to come on and talk about this because this is something that i'm actually experiencing at the moment like literally at the moment so um you've probably heard of the phrase doms which is delayed onset muscle soreness. And the reason I wanted to do this is because obviously I've been doing the Body Positive Bootcamp hybrid calendar, which is a bit of a mishmash of lots of different workouts from BOD. And um, I threw in some workouts in there that I've never done before. So as you all know, I really, really enjoy um, the Sean T workout, so T25. I really enjoy Pio, I really enjoy the yoga, um, what else do I enjoy? The Transform 20, the Lift, so there's loads of programs that I've done in full that I really enjoy, but there's loads of programs on there that I've never even touched, and so on this hybrid calendar, I threw some of those in there as a really great way to be able to try out some of those new workouts and see what they were like. And one of the workouts that I tried out, which was, I think on a Monday was a core de force workout which is a kind of mixed martial arts style workout and it's really good I really enjoyed it I was feeling super frustrated and stressed out on Monday so for anybody who doesn't know we are moving house on Monday and Tuesday of next week and I think I'm a little bit in denial um we haven't started packing um we've got a company coming in to help us pack next week and I, and there's just a lot to do so <laughs> i'm a little bit stressed uh, plus we start our new boot camp next week um with uh, the 100 workouts program morning meltdown so um yeah i had quite a lot on and you know on monday i um decided i obviously wanted to do this core de force workout and I loved it and I really enjoyed it and it was hard and I didn't use any weights. It was all kind of mixed MMA style movement. So lots of kicking and punching and all that kind of stuff. And it was perfect for kind of how I was feeling that day. I really needed to vent some frustration and some stress and it was perfect and I felt great afterwards. But oh my Lord, I am sore. Yesterday, um was a quite sore and today I am still so tender all around my um here and my arms because there's a lot of punching and arm work um and I am so sore all around my top half and I haven't had this kind of muscle soreness for a long time like I usually get a little bit sore like I can feel I've done a workout but this is kind of a whole other level of like pain and um you know to the point where it's really tender like it's tender to touch it's tender to move and um and I thought god this is so perfect for me to come on and talk about this because obviously if I'm experiencing it and I am quite well versed in um bod workouts then I know that some of you guys will definitely be experiencing some of um some of this as well so I thought why not use this as an opportunity to come on and have a chat with you and share some information with you about uh, doms so you know like some of you have made that jump you've dived into a new workout program and you're probably feeling amazing you know it's you you're taking that time for yourself to work out um and you're doing these brand new moves that your body has never done before and then all of a sudden over the next two days you are absolutely aching all over in places that you didn't even know you could ache so welcome to the world of doms um so 
I think the important thing to kind of really kick off and say is that anyone of any level of fitness can get DOMS. So whether you are a complete beginner to these workout programs or you are an expert fitness instructor, anybody can get it. And it happens basically because when you push your body in a new way, or maybe like me, you currently work out and you're stepping it up a gear or you're doing a different style of workouts, you're working muscles that you don't normally work in that way you're effectively pushing those muscles harder and what it is is it's believed that this causes tiny tears in the muscle fibers and then they become inflamed so um you know blood go you know blood goes to the muscles to heal those little tears in the muscles and it's that inflammation which causes the soreness so um i think historically and even i used to believe that um when when you used to get DOMS, it was a buildup of lactic acid in the muscles, but this has been now found not to be the case. It's to do with the tiny tears in the muscle fibres. So as I said, this can happen to anyone at any level of fitness. Um, but if you're new to a workout programme, then it might make you feel like you want to quit or that you've done the exercises wrong. So um, just trust that um, this is completely normal and um, if anything it probably indicates that you're pushing your body in a new way and this is a really really good thing and those that soreness is your muscles um, knitting together to heal themselves and actually become even stronger so um, and over time your muscles are going to adjust to those types of workouts that you're doing and you just won't feel as sore following those workouts so if you were to do um, that workout again um, at that same intensity after you've recovered you'll probably find that you're not as sore and that's because your muscles have recovered and become stronger and knitted together stronger where they were weaker so um to just trust that um, any soreness um that you do get it's just your body's way of adjusting um as your muscles kind of repair and recover and they'll become more strong more strong and more defined and your stamina is going to become even greater so doms can last anything from kind of three to five days um and the pain can be mild or it can be quite severe i would kind of say the pain that i've had over the last couple of days has been on a scale of like 0 to 10 i'd say it's been up there maybe like an eight um and uh you know it's I know it's muscular pain, like I haven't injured myself, like I would know it's a different type of pain from like if you were to injure yourself, so it's not a sharp like acute pain, you know, it's, uh, that I would get if it was an injury, it's like a constant, so just a soreness, so it's really important to, to just be aware of how your body feels and that if you are getting pain, knowing when it's an injury when you've overdone it or whether it's um, and whether it's doms so um you know if you, if it is an injury obviously you know go get that checked out if you think that is the case basically um so what can you do to ease the symptoms of doms um there's no 100% cure <laughs> um or treatment that kind of is 100% effective so it's a combination of things so rest um, use ice packs, use painkillers, massage. Um, if I'm being really honest with you, half an hour before this call, I was in a, in an Epsom salt bath um, um, because it's been suggested that Epsom salts um, can help. So they're really rich in magnesium. And what magnesium does, it widens um, your blood vessels and so the blood can get to the muscles quicker and obviously that boosts the recovery. Um, a couple of other things you can do if you're feeling really brave, uh, which I haven't done yet because I'm not brave, is you can sit in a cold bath and sit in it for as long as you can kind of bear really. And I know that a lot of sports people do this. Um, so that's another option. Or if you really want to step it up, you can kind of alternate between a hot bath and an ice cold shower and you kind of do that continuously for about 20 minutes. Um, the other thing that you could do, and I would, I would be doing it tonight, although it's I probably have to do it on my it's good. I'm, mine is in a really awkward spot because it's on my arm so I'll have to see how I can do it but get to grips with using a foam roller now they aren't everyone's best friend I totally get that um but you can kind of get really good results similar to going for like a deep tissue massage all in the comfort of your own home um what I would say with 
a foam roller is, it's really worth investing in a good quality one. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I think mine was about 10 quid, but um, I used to have one um, years ago and it was a really hard one um, and it had all lumps and nobbles and bobbles in. And I know that some people like that. Like to me, it was just a torch item and I never used it. It was so painful to use it. So I never used it. So um, the one I've got now, I actually bought, I went to a foam rolling class um, that was being held locally. And there was a woman there from a local massage, sports massage um, company, like a sports massage therapist. And she was selling these foam rollers. And, um, you know, basically she said, if, if everyone foam rollered who, who worked out and did exercise, like she would, you know, they wouldn't need to go for sports massages. I suppose people just either don't make the time for it or they think it's too painful or um, they can't be bothered um, or they're too tired to do it. And so obviously that's why people end up going to see sports um, therapists for, for massage and what have you. And like that's exactly what my husband does. He goes for sports massages, even though we've got two foam rollers upstairs. Now, I am not you know, I struggle with the foam roller and I know I need to do it. And I, I am going to kind of try and commit to that more, especially in the run over this, um, the 100 workout boot camp. Um, because I know that when I do do it, I do feel the benefits the next day. I'm not a sore, um, but I know that while I'm doing it, it's incredibly painful. And um, I know that if I get into a habit of doing it more regularly, it won't be as painful. So it's one of those kind of necessary evils i think that if you can kind of just be really brave and roll with it literally then you'll really feel the benefits and hopefully that'll um aid your recovery so you're not feeling as sore um so if you are gonna uh, do foam rolling go really slowly roll your muscles from all angles there's loads of videos on youtube about how to use a foam roller i think there's even even one or two in the bod library actually as well but breathe really slowly while you're doing it because it can be really uncomfortable and you just kind of want to ease yourself into those uncomfortable parts of the muscles so just take your time don't rush okay so in terms of preventing doms you know, it's not always going to be possible, um, but there is some research in a journal, um, a sports medicine journal, which shows that, that wearing compression socks immediately after ex exercise and for 24 hours afterwards significantly reduces DOMS. So, you know, those flight socks, I guess, that people would wear on a plane to, to not get a DVT. It's those basically. Um, and interestingly, I've got a pair of them in a packet that I've had probably for about 10 years. I've never worn and they're in a, they're in a packet. So that's really interesting. So I might try that after after my workouts and see if I notice, um, notice the difference. Um, so to reduce the impacts of DOMS, it's really important to ease yourself into a new workout program. Don't try to do too much too soon. Otherwise, you're going to end up with really severe DOMS or even worse, you're going to injure yourself and then you're going to have to completely stop and recover, which is going to slow down the progress that you're trying to make with your health. So, um, you know, warm up before you start any exercise. So all of the workout programs on BOD have um, warm up, um, you know, the, the, the front part of the workout is always a warm up and the end part is always a stretching session. Um, and then obviously stretching as well is going to aid your recovery. But even though you do these things, you still might get DOMS. So like none of these things are completely 100% foolproof, but it cannot do you any harm in your recovery and uh, getting stronger to be able to, 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 to do all or any of these things. So um, now, even if you do get DOMS, um, you can still work out. So you'll probably find, um, and I did this yesterday. So like I said, I've had DOMS for the last two days. I actually did a workout yesterday. Um, and while you're working out, you probably find that the pain's going to go away because um, your muscles are going to get warmer. But the DOMS will return after you've finished. So today I should be doing a workout, but I have actually decided to have a rest day today because I am really, really tired, really sore. Um, I might do some yoga later. Um, but, you know, if you do really want to work out, you can do, but maybe work out a different area of your body instead. So if it's your legs that are sore, maybe work out your arms, your back, your chest, or if it's vice versa, if it's your back, your chest and your arms. Um, so, or maybe do yoga instead and swimming is a really, um, great low impact cardio exercise that you can do to kind of keep those muscles moving as well. Um, but I suppose just to finish really, look, 
the good thing is is that DOMS is an indicator that your muscles are recovering and in effect getting stronger and that is a complete win okay so because of this the next time you do that workout at the same intensity you're not going to experience DOMS at the same level and that is absolutely fantastic and it shows that your body's making progress and getting stronger each and every time you push play on your workout so hope that uh, covers off everything that you need to know about doms um, i'd love to know whether any of you've had doms this week i am going to be taking it easy and doing some yoga um, a little bit later on and uh, getting everything finished and finalized ready to kick off the 100 project morning meltdown 100 boot camp next week have a great day and i'll see you all later bye <laughs>